What's going on everybody? It's Tyler with the Hobby and Development and today we're going to be taking a look at another uh, tutorial video of the comic book style uh, of miniature painting with the Tao Empire Recon Drone. If you're interested in my first video, I'm going to uh, I'll put a link up in the description of the video here. You can go ahead and watch that. In this video, uh, we're going to be taking a look at uh, something new that I'm going to try out. I'm going to be trying paint pens to see if they help out with the, the black inking and uh, that might get me some better results and well, we'll find out in the video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to, uh, to put them below. As always, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the little bell icon to get updates anytime I post a new video and I hope you enjoy. All the colors I use in this tutorial are as follows. Everland Sunset, Uriel Yellow, Flash Kits Yellow, Cassandora Yellow. I also use Mechanicus Standard Gray. I use Administratum Gray. Celestra Gray. White Scar. Scrag Brown. For all the vents, I use Warpstone Glow, followed by Moot Green. Evil Sun Scarlet and Aramon Blue for lenses. And optionally, a bad and black, however, I'm going to be experimenting with paint pens for the line highlighting. So the first thing that I did was base coat it with the Everland Sunset Spray Can, and then I go in and touch it up with the paintbrush just to get some of the areas where the spray didn't get to. You don't want to just keep spraying the spray on the model over and over again. You get build up in the corners and the edges and it clogs some of the detail. So it's good to just touch everything up when you're all done with the, uh, with the paintbrush. Again, Everland Sunset for the first step. When we're done with Everland Sunset, I go in with the uh, Warpstone Glow, and I'm just going to apply a little bit to all the areas that I'm eventually going to want to glow green. Later, in, later on in the process, I have to go in and touch it up a little bit and add a second coat to get, the, to get that opaque look, but we're just going to lay down the first phase of that. I'm going to be putting it in all the little jet and intakes, kind of get that glowing effect. Here I'm laying out some Cassandora yellow on the, uh, the palette here, and the purpose of the shade is to tint the Everland Sunset, and, and you'll see how the effect works later on. But the name of the game in comic book painting is High Contrast, and uh, you'll see a more dramatic contrast with the next layer paints that we lay down on it if we first shade it with uh, Cassandora yellow, and we'll get... Uh, a really unique contrast when everything is dried. After the shade is dried, the next thing I do is apply Mechanica Standard Gray to all the exhaust outlets. I'm also going to be applying Mechanica Standard Gray to the barrel of the minigun on the model. The burst cannon, if you will.
Now that we're done with the gray, I'm going to be using uh, Scrag Brown, and I'm just going to touch up all the little parts that, uh, all the little, you know, the joints or the, the bearings, the bolts, rivets, whatever you want to call them. Laying down a second and third coat where need be to make sure that the Mechanica Standard Gray is nice and uh, opaque. And then I grab Uriel Yellow, and what you're going to do with Uriel Yellow is you're going to apply um, not to the entire surface, but you're going to selectively uh, make surface highlights just uh, bring out that contrast that we really want to look for in the comic book style of painting. You're going to make it look natural, not... Uh, not super straight lines, you don't want anything uh, like patterns or anything. You just want to you go with the flow, make it look natural, maybe simulate how light might reflect off of a curved disc in this, this particular portion of the model. I go in with Celestra Gray and I'm going to hit the parts that are going to be white. We're all done with that. I continue on adding the Uriel Yellow to the rest of the model. While I'm waiting for the layer of Uriel Yellow to dry, I go in and use uh, Moot Green to add the second and final coat in the exhaust ports. 
and then I move to Flesh Gets Yellow. And in Flesh Gets Yellow, you're going to be applying these highlights inside all the areas of Uriel Yellow to increase the contrast, take it up to another level. Don't actually record myself painting it, but I want to mention that you use Moot Green over top of Warp Stone Glow to get the glowing effect coming from the vents and the engines. In this section, I'm taking White Scar and adding contrast highlights to the celestial gray areas to give these areas pop. In this section, I add White Scar to the lenses, which I've coated in Evil Sun Scarlet and Aramon Blue. You can see I've also added Everland Sunset to all the rivets that were in Scrag Brown, and I've put Administratum Gray over all of the Mechanicus Standard Gray, giving those highlights, and then White Scar over top of those. The final step is uh, called inking, and in my previous video I used uh, Bad and Black, which uh, is again something that I would suggest doing. However, for the this project, and probably actually for the future projects, I'm going to be using these Micron paint pens. Uh, and the reason I'm doing that is because I have a lot more control, and it's just a lot quicker, and I can get uh, really fine details down to, I think the smallest is uh, 005 is the smallest tip on these. And it just, in my opinion, offers greater control when you're line highlighting all of the, the edges on the model. The Micron pens, they don't, uh, they don't bleed. They don't, uh, I'm going to call it feathering when you put ink down and it kind of spreads out. It's arch archival quality ink, so it doesn't fade, it doesn't react to chemicals, and uh, it really works quite well, and you'll see the final effect. I don't show all of the, uh, all of the process, because this is by far the longest part of the, uh, of the comic book style of painting. But you'll see in the end how great that this looks compared to the Commander, which is in my previous released video. Uh, one thing to note is it does take a little bit longer to dry than paint does, so make sure to give it plenty of, plenty of time. Uh, try not to make contact of the model with your skin or it will smudge it. But once it does dry, it's just as permanent as paint. As always, if you're going to be using these models, I recommend sealing them with a varnish if you're going to use them in gaming. Otherwise, uh, you're free to just leave everything exposed and it'll, you know, as long as you're not rubbing it, it won't wear down. So just to reiterate the process here, you're going along all of the edges and making every edge black. And after you're done inking the edges, you can make scratch marks with uh, the black ink and little hashtags, give it that comic book feel, and uh, then when you're all done, you're good to go. Uh, I'm going to cut out the, the rest of this video and then uh, show you the reveal.